My name's Dave Klumpar. I'm the uh, director of the Space Science and Engineering Laboratory and a research professor here at Montana State University. When a position became available here and I was recruited to come to Montana, I thought what better way could there be to end my career the last dozen years or so than to give students here the same opportunity that I had as an undergraduate. I'm Danny Jacobs and I'm a graduate student and the director of a satellite project at the SSEL, Space Science Engineering Lab. Explorer One Prime is our tribute to space. We are essentially recreating the discovery of the Van Allen radiation belts that took place 50 years ago when the United States launched the first, our first satellite. I was a freshman in high school. I'm leaning towards science already. My buddies and I are building little rockets and heavy explosions and burning our fingers. Some three minutes later, Explorer is in orbit. The space race grew out of, or was a part of the Cold War. It was a part of the bigger picture. Today, a new moon is in the sky, a 23-inch metal sphere placed in orbit by a Russian rocket. Here in our Launching Sputnik clearly demonstrated to the entire world that the Soviet Union had the capability to put something in space that could spy on everybody. That was a big wake-up call for, for the United States. The reality of our times, the fact that atom bombs... Got to remember, people were worried about the Soviet Union. People were concerned that we were going to get a bomb dropped on us at any time. A lot of people were building bomb shelters in their backyards. The Cold War and the possibility that we could be attacked was on everybody's mind. If there is a warning, you will hear it before the bomb explodes. When there is a flash, duck and cover and do it fast, tight against the wall this way. Remember to keep your face in the back of your neck covered tightly. The essence of the importance of space is that uh, it gives you a bird's eye view of anything going on in the entire world if you have the technical capability to put yourself there. It gives you a leg up, it gives you the capability to spy on, on anybody and everybody. However, I think one of the things that, that everyone noticed when we started getting pictures of the Earth was that there are no borders. We realized that we all live on one planet and space can't be apportioned by borders. You can't draw a line and say, this region of space is ours. You can't lay claim to that. The ability to look back from the moon and see how tiny the Earth is and how isolated it is, and the realization that, uh, that that's all we have. It brings a, a whole new context into our view of, of our daily conflicts. One of the main differences between us is the kinds of, the kinds of things that we saw and what, what sort of shaped our formative years. There's a real perspective between things that happened before your time versus things that happened during your time. So it's only fitting that we, we refly Explorer 1 Prime on this 50th year anniversary. And that's the tie with history, the tie with Van Allen. He actually named our satellite. When I described what we were doing, he said, oh, kind of like an Explorer 1 Prime. It's directly linked to one of the most pivotal moments in, in history, and the personal connection to, to Dr. Van Allen makes it all the more interesting. When we started talking about making this our experiment, the uh, students' eyes light up. The connection to history is not lost on them. 